A little thought piece and an editorial. Uh, one of my missions on this channel is to get more people to consider their audio. Not only higher quality listening, but also healthier listening. There's been a bit of a trend in the conversations I have with the women in my life. Friends, family, my wife, my mom. Earbuds are uncomfortable for them to wear. And when concerns are brought up, those concerns are often dismissed. I don't have any problems wearing in-ear buds. You're probably doing it wrong. Uh, did you try twisting them upside down. Did you think about using the smaller ear tips that come in the box? Audio is the most personal form of wearable technology. We can't just pay lip service to the idea that every ear is different. From cans to on-ear headphones to in-ear solutions, how a pair of headphones fit significantly influences the quality of that audio and the quality of the user experience. It's my hypothesis that the rise of open earbuds like EarPods and AirPods was in part influenced by a lack of options for a significant portion of the population with ears too small to fit in-ear solutions. A lot of the people resembling that last comment happen to be women. While I appreciate the efforts to make gadgets pink, I think there's also a conversation we're missing on basic biology. A practical demonstration? You bet. My wife has never been able to wear in-ear buds. We joked about her ridiculously small pixie ears, but she was almost 40 before we were able to scan her ears and get custom molds made. Her ear canals were so small, the shop fabricating the molds they weren't sure there'd be enough material to maintain the structure of the ear tip. Here's a photo of the earbud piece that goes into her ear next to a common in-ear bud with the padded tip removed. So offering such helpful advice like just use a smaller ear tip completely does not help if the person's ear canal is smaller than the arm on the earbud with the ear tip removed. If you're into audio, if you enjoy premium listening experiences, I want you to try and put yourself in her shoes. And this has been a common theme in many of my conversations. My mom thought in-ear buds were just supposed to rest against the ear canal. I have a cousin who can get some ear tips inserted, but she says she's got about a 15 minute window before she starts getting migraines. A reviewer friend of mine is trying to tackle more audio reviews, but if you can't get a good fit or a good seal, then it's extremely difficult to judge the sonic characteristics of a pair of earbuds. That, and I'm sure it's frustrating catching all the gatekeeping dudes in her comments who don't understand the privilege they enjoy when products like earbuds fit their ears. The suggestion to only use open earbuds is incomplete, while being possibly more damaging to someone's hearing. If you can't properly seal the ear and block noise, then you're probably listening to your audio a lot louder than you need to. For many individuals with smaller ears, their primary options for a convenient pair of buds deliver poorer quality and will potentially degrade hearing faster over time. And while I've titled this editorial Earbuds for Girls, it's worth mentioning that, yeah, some men also have issues finding comfortable, properly fitting ear tips. There's a reason why the inserted segment on hearing aids are usually smaller or are custom molded for that specific individual. For consumers struggling to find a comfortable fit, I think we need to do a better job of normalizing these conversations with doctors and specialists. We're in a time where really nice earbuds can easily cost over $100, so custom molds aren't as shockingly expensive as they used to seem. And it's always a good idea to consider the different types of headphones, headsets, and earbuds you can shop to make sure you're getting the right solution for your specific needs. Lastly, if you work for an audio manufacturer, it might be worth a little study to see if there's a way to change the casing design or offer alternative in-ear solutions for folks with smaller ear canals. As a business, you're probably missing out on a chunk of potential consumers. Could be worth it. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to the channel. I know we're in the year 2021, but the pun on 2020 hearing is too good to give up, so I'm gonna stick with that for a while on this series of videos. You can catch the full playlist 
in the end segment of this video. Treat your ears, or at least treat your ears a little better, and I'll catch you all on the next video.